Hello, friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers, and again, in this case, uh, transforming Sentai toys. We're doing something a little bit, a little bit new, at least in terms of you know, compared to the other stuff I do. This isn't something that's been out for years and years and years, and I'm just now getting a hold of it. This is something that's actually relatively recent, and that is uh, the toys from probably going to pronounce this terribly, but uh, Zuoger? Zuoger? Uh, Zuoger? I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I don't know. But yeah, that. The one with the cube animals. <laughs> Specifically, we are going to be looking at the set that makes up Zuo Wild. And that is Cube Elephant, Cube Tiger, and Cube Gorilla. Or 4, 5, and 6. Also, this thing which we'll uh, deal with in a minute. But yeah, these these things are extremely simple, extremely stupid, and I absolutely adore them. These things are fantastic. I just sometimes bring them to work just to mess around with them. They're just, they're so fun and simple and dumb. You know... I mean, there's not too much to say about them in their cube modes, or this. You know, not much to say, we'll get to all that later. But yeah, you know, four, five, six, not bad colors. Um, you know, some of it's broken up a bit. Like here you can see the obvious elephant face. Here you've got these Frankenstein bolts sitting off to the sides of Tiger. And of course, you know, when you look at them from anything but straight on they kind of kind of break the illusion but they are nice looking overall and you can see there's actually a fair bit of detail in all of them from like all angles there's just all these little these little bits of detail like they didn't actually ignore any angle on these guys I mean, some of the details a bit finer on certain angles than others, but yeah. They actually are quite nice with the molded detail all the way, all the way around, from all angles. And even this thing, you can see there's like this nice little grid pattern in there. And some stuff on the other side. Okay, this side's not so great, but eh. That's not even an official animal. Now, normally I don't show the transformations, but because the transformations on these guys are so simple, I'm just gonna do it. So, again, they're like you can do these and just just listen to that. I love how net, like nice and clicky these ratchets are. See how you flip that trunk and boom, there we go. There we have cube elephant, and then cube tiger. Up the head, flip up the tail, and boop! There's Tiger. Gorilla is the most involved out of the two of them. Just gotta extend that. Extend that. Now, to get him, gotta have his arms up like that, flip up the head, and that has him gorilla-ing. And then, for Gorilla, we also take this, open it up, flip out this little thing, and then this clips onto Gorilla's back right there. And then you have a Gorilla with a giant cannon on his shoulder, which is completely ridiculous, but I kind of love it. So yeah, these things are just great. I mean, Elephant's a little simple. They're all simple, but... You know, you've got, like, no matter what side you look at Elephant from, it's not quite great, because here you've got, like, the broken up four, but then here you've got this mess in the back. So it's kind of, eh, but the overall shape is nice. I mean, you know, you've got, like, the different feet. And you actually have, like, the tusks there. You can't, it's hard to tell, but they actually, there are, there is a gap there. Like there's a, there's a little, try it this way. There you go. There you can see. They actually have the tusks kind of picked out there. 
And the paint is really nice too. I mean, I love that like gold crest on the elephant's head and some really nice details here. The green going down. Now I don't know how accurate it is to the show. Kind of wish that this was green too, so it kind of made one long color, you know, colorful trunk, but this might be show accurate, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, elephant is not bad. Most of the detail is in the face, but still not bad. I'm almost wondering if this is kind of supposed to be the elephant's tail or something. And now, I thought the gorilla was going to be my favorite, but I actually think tiger is my favorite out of this set. I mean, it's amazing what they're able to do with such a simple transformation. Like, you've got these great lines to give it that hint of tigerness, and I know this has been pointed out in the past, but I love how this section of the five folds up to make the tail, and it gives him a striped tail. That's super clever. And you can see there's even more molding in there, and the inside's there. And the head looks really nice. And you got the paws. It's just... I really like this, and I like the, the shape that it gives him. You know? Unfortunately, you got this gap back here, but that could almost work as tiger stripes, too. And no gap from here. Yeah, very nice. And then you've got these claws that you can kind of mess with, and I've kind of gone back and forth with how I want to display them, because that way it gives him these giant shoulders, and it looks a little weird. And then you can flip them forward, I don't think that looks very good. And then you can flip them forward more, and these will actually click. Like, there's even a little molded dip there to have them facing forward, so you can give him, like, forward-facing claws. And I was doing that for a while because it makes his shoulders look a little bit smaller, which I think fits more for the tiger, but then it blocks a lot of that wonderful face detail. So it's, it's a toss-up. Now I've been doing lately is just that. But yeah, Tiger looks very, very nice. That's not to say the Gorilla looks bad. Gorilla actually does look very nice. That cannon is a bit comically oversized, but it kind of has to be just for what this piece ends up doing. But if we get rid of that, so we can look at Gorilla a little better. It's a very nice face. And I also like the gold that they have going here and the just the paint colorations the molded well, beats he's just like <laughs> i don't know i just i really like how what what they do with these guys and the only issue that i have with gorilla without like you can you know you can have them out without the cannon on but if you look at him from even slightly from the top you start to see that big old hole and that kind of i don't know not a fan of the hole, but still very cool. And I have to say, what really impresses me with these things, aside from them just being very satisfying to play with and very fun in their simplicity, I really respect how the designers were able to do so much with so little in terms of just the actual transformations, the details that they show, the details that they reveal, and the fact that it's all being done from these cubes, and every single one of these cubes has a hole going through the middle of it. So it's like, not only did they have to figure out how to design these transforming cubes that could turn into animals and also combine to make robots, but they had to have a big old hole going through the middle of them all. That's just really impressive to me. Anyway, let's move on to Jewel Wild. And, you know, very simple transformation. I'm not going to do much in the way of explanation here. But, very, very simple. And, I'm not going to do too much with Gorilla. So, then you just start stacking them, and they're just, you know, you can actually, if you stack them like this, all the cubes can interlock like this. So you click them together, and there you have his pants. Click Gorilla on top, and then fold those out. And, okay, well, before I had the head, I'm going to need to raise the camera, so hang on. Right, so, adding the head. I'm going to pop 
this off. This will become his gun, and that can just plug in right there. And you can plug it in on either side. I like to do this side, just like with the uh, MGO's video. Same deal. I like the fact that, you know, that's where the sight is. So I like to have it where the face is. That folds in. This bit folds out and sandwiches together. And then this just clips on. And then, boop. And there we have Juo, 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 whatever, wild combined up and this thing is so neat it's just a big blocky lego totem pole robot it's fantastic <laughs> i am so into this it's just it's goofy and it's a brick literally and it's made out of bricks but it's so neat and i mean they did a decent job of like faking things here again because like there's like this slight angle, not to the sculpt so much, maybe a tiny bit down here, but like just, it just kind of angles up nicely. And then in the middle here, they've got these sections that are just not painted to kind of give the illusion of slightly spread legs. So it gives them like an a slightly a stance looking thing there, which is very impressive. Just how they were able to kind of pull that off. And like, ah, it just looks so good. And I also like how get this out of the way here. Bring those down. So here you can see, like, I like how they've got this line that just kind of goes all the way across. And then this also kind of mimics what's going on in the head here. Kind of does a good job of pulling it all together visually. The head is basic, but not bad. I do think it's a little weird that this line is slightly off center. Don't know if that's show accurate or not. It may be, and that's fine. But for me, I'm just like, oh, just nudge it that way a little bit more. And then there's like <laughs> the only blue you see on this figure is the eyes there. It's got like a little bit of a human mouth, kind of humanoid mouth, I guess, too. Yeah, he is quite nifty. Oh, another thing I like to do is... uh pull out the tiger claws just slightly to make him seem a little bit less like, you know, from the front. So it just makes him like some a little bit more not three dimensional looking because obviously it's three dimensional, but you know, just it makes those details pop a little bit more. But yeah, he is very neat. And then, of course, you view him from the side or the back and it all kind of falls apart, but that's OK. I don't mind. They're simple toys, and they're neat, simple toys. I've been having a surprising amount of fun just, like, messing around with them, trying to figure out, like, other ways to combine them and transform them. And I honestly, I want to get uh, Juo King, the one, two, three, the eagle, shark, and lion, because I feel like having three more would just be a fun way to kind of mess around with combining more of them. I, I don't really like the look of Juo King, and just he's got like this microscopic face and the eagle I think is kind of lame but I still want to get them all so I can like combine them all up and make the big fancy dude which uh, this well not one of the big fancy dudes I should say this actually becomes the chest piece of the combine mode so like the major combine mode between Joe Wild and Joe King yeah, this is very, very cool. I've been eyeballing the series of toys for a little while now, and with the holidays coming to a close and me getting a little bit of spending money, I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take a chance on Joe Wild, because he's the one that I really like the look of the most, and I'm not disappointed at all. So much fun to play with. Very neat looking. And I just, again, I love what they were able to pull off with such tight design constraints. Just how they were able to take cubes and do all of this with them. Cubes with holes going through the middle of them. Very impressive stuff. Anyway, that has been my look at the Zhu Ogre, Zhu Ogre, I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> cube Elephant, Cube Tiger, and Cube Gorilla 
and their combined form of Jewel Wild. And this thing is very cool. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And remember, I forgot to do size comparisons. <laughs> so, real quick. There's Samus. Not tiny, but, you know, not huge, not like tiny for Sentai, but not a tiny figure overall. So, yeah. Eh, sorry. Anyway, yeah, uh, size comparison done. And remember, art is more than meets the eye. <laughs>